Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint Nova Marines. If you like the channel and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now on to the video. So this is the finished Nova Marine. You can see the chatter badge on the shoulder there, which will be a video on Sunday. But the rest of the Marine, really happy with how it turned out, but this is what we're going to be working on today. It's getting looking great on your tabletop. So the first colour we're going to use today is Citadel Bugman's Glow. This is just for the face that I'm going to do on it. So obviously if you're doing a different skin tone or anything like that, use whichever skin tone you're using. I'm going to be doing a few little videos on faces using a lot of different skin tones and things that you can put onto your miniatures just to make them a little bit more varied, get them looking really, really cool. Next colour we're going to use is Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade Shade. I'm just going to give the face a reasonable coat of this so that you get those darker recesses so that when we come to reapply the colour a little bit later, it will look nice and shaded. I'm going to start working on the blue now, which is Citadel McCrag Blue. Now the miniature is going to have his armour into quarters, so you're going to have his right leg and his left arm will be blue like half the chest, the left half of the chest will be blue, the right half of the rear armour and the kind of groin guard will be blue. And you're going to split that power pack 50-52. going to be doing him as a sergeant, so his helm will be red, so that won't be split in two. Next colour we're going to use is Vallejo black, but whichever black you tend to use is fine. We'll be painting the casing on the bolter. Also the little seals in his armour too. I'll just go back to the blue when you're painting it in quarters. What I tend to do is roughly paint the whole of the armour on the areas that you're painting with the blue. But leave an edge where you're going to do that straight line down between it. And then you can fill in that section afterwards. And it just makes it easier to get that nice straight line of blue and white. Next colour is going to be Citadel on the fist on red. And we're going to paint his helm with this. Also use a little bit of this to do the wounds to the front of his face as well. I'm going to use some Citadel Lead Belcher. I'm going to use this to do the silvery metallics on him, so the metal parts of the bolt rifle. We've also got the chest eagle as well, and also parts of the pile pack at the back. So give them a nice smooth coat of this, and we can move on to the next colour. Now we are going to use a little bit of Citadel Retributor armour. This is going to be to paint a few little details on him. You've got the skull on the shoulder pad on the pauldron there. One on the helm. I think possibly something on the front of his bolt rifle as well. Paint all the little gold decorations anyway. Then I'm going to use some Citadel Bane Blade Brown to paint all of the pouches and his belt. Also paint the holster with this as well. Final colour that we're going to use initially is Vallejo White, but any white will do. I'm just going to use this to do the armour trim on the pauldron and touch up any of the areas of the armour which is white. It may still have those little bits where it's been clipped from the sprue or had mould lines scraped away. To 
The first of the shades we're going to use is Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm going to put this over all of the McCrag blue, get that shade into all those recesses. Next is Citadel Nuln Oil, and this is going to be over all of the silvery metallics. Give them a nice shade of this, and I'll bring out all those details. Now we're going to use some Citadel Agrax Earth Shade. It's going to be to shade all of the sections of gold, so a bit of a quick layer here. Should just mention that when you're trying to get this shade around the edges, you want to get it around the edges of the gold without going onto the white too much. Now we have Citadel Druchy Violet. It's going to be to do the red of the helm. And also if you use a really, really thin brush and just get some of that into the recesses of the wounds on the face as well. And I use some Citadel Snakebite Leather Contrast to paint on all of the pouches and the holster and his belt. This will give them that nice tan leather colour that we know and love. Second contrast paint is going to be Citadel Apothecary White. You can use this to paint onto all of the white areas of the miniature. It's a great colour for shading white this, it goes in, it's a grey that's dark enough to be seen easily against the white, but not dark enough that it stands out too badly, like if you used say Null Oil, and that's a really really sharp contrast, it's quite a mellow contrast but all the details will stand out. Can do a little bit of Citadel Gore Grunt of Fur contrast on his hair. A little quick and easy way of doing that. Like so. Now we're going to start working on the flesh. We're going to start with Citadel Bugman's Glow again. We're using a really thin brush. I'm using his face as a bit of a tutorial a later one. And we're going to be picking out all the highlights and areas that will be catching some of that light. To bring that up to a nice smooth layer. I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Kislev Flesh. This is going to be to mix with the Bugman's Glow and do the first layer of highlights. So with this you want to be thinking about where the light is catching the skin and highlighting those areas, leaving some of the Bugman's glow and then some of the shaded recesses on display. And we're going to build up this skin tone by mixing in little extra bits of Kislev flesh each time, just until we've got that lighter shade and all the details showing up there. We're now going to add a little bit more Kislev flesh to the previous mix and just lighten up that skin tone once more. Again, you're picking out really small areas to highlight so that you're leaving the previous two shades on there as well. Final addition, we're going to add a final little bit of Kislev flesh to the mix and just pick out those details once more to highlight that skin tone. This is just going to be really small highlights on this, picking out details with just little tiny spots of highlight.
We're now going to use some Vallejo Red Wash. It's a really great colour. I do recommend this one. It's ideal for just reddening skin to make it look as if it's a bit inflamed and a bit wounded. Just painting this onto the skin tone. You can still see the skin tone beneath it. And you can see the red on top as well. So the more that you use, the more you put on, the more it will inflame. You can also do a really thin wash of this on the lips just to give them a little bit of colour too. And I tend to put some under the eyes as well. Just to redden the very edges of those eyes. Now we're going to use some Vallejo White. I'm going to start working on the eyes. So we're going to drag the brush from the nose outwards. Just to catch those little details of the eyeball there. Like so. I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black just to put a spot into each eye. So using a really thin brush here. It can take a couple of goes, so if you are putting the pupils in, you make a bit of a mistake or make one slightly bigger, you can go over that with a little bit of white and then replace the black spot for the pupil and the iris. We're now going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Blood for the Blood God just on those open wounds just to make them look a little bit wetter and a bit more fresh. I'm just going to use a tiny little spot of Vallejo Modeler Chrome to do that service stud in his forehead there. If you haven't got Vallejo Modeler Chrome, Stormhost Silver is a good alternative to it. Slightly thinner, but does the trick. Now we're going to start working on the blue, so we're going to start with Citadel McCrag Blue. What we're going to do here is think about where the light is catching the armour and start applying colour so that the light coming from above is highlighting all those areas that it will be seeing. And then as it sort of like the plate curls off and goes underneath the legs and down to the vertical sections of the pauldrons and things like that, it's going to have more shade at the bottom or on the underside of the legs and the arm. Now to highlight this, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel the Fang. It might seem a little bit of a strange colour to highlight McCrag Blue with. However, it does give it that kind of grey-blue effect that the Nova Marines tend to have. Looking in the Bad Ab Wars book, this is. There's some pictures online for more recent ones where they are a slightly deeper blue. But I do kind of like the grey-blue that they're portrayed as in that Bad Ab War book. So I'm using the Fang. Thinking again where the light's going to catch it and highlighting those areas. And now we're going to highlight that with Citadel Rust Grey. Using this to do some edge highlights. And a few little areas just to make them stand out as though there's lots of light catching them. Blue complete, we are now moving on to the white, so we're returning to Vallejo white, but whichever white you are using is fine. I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the McCrag blue. But because of the way the white works, and you tend to be able to see the colour through it when you're painting it on, you can use this to your advantage and use it so that you can almost blend it into the grey areas of shade by doing maybe one layer near the shade and two layers away from it so that you get that brighter white the further you go away from it where the highlights will be but if you just work with it you'll be able to see which bits sort of go streaky and which bits are darker and use that to your advantage when you're painting it so now i'm going to use some iron hand steel i'm going to start working on the chest eagle i'm just going to paint easily these feathers the skull and the tops of the wings 
with this just to make them really stand out leaving the null oil in the recesses and just to add a little bit of a shine to it we're going to use some Vallejo Model Air Chrome Just paint about half of each feather with the Model Air Chrome and do some little highlights on the skull and the tops of the wings. This will just give it that nice shine that helps it stand out. So working on the helm now, we're going to use some Citadel Mephist on red, like we did with the blue and the white. Think about where the light is going to catch this and apply them a fist on red to those areas leaving the shades in the recesses we're going to paint a little bit of this red going on the underside as well where it is a bit more heavily shaded just to pick out some of those details so that they stand out we are going to leave large areas shaded because the light wouldn't be catching it too much next up is citadel evil sun scarlet I'm going to use this to paint about 50% of the area that we've painted with the Mephist on red. And this is going to be the 50% which is sort of catching more light. So think about where the light's coming down there again. And use the Evil Sun Scarlet to add some lighter shades of red to those areas. I'm going to start with some Citadel Wild Rider Red. This is going to be the third colour to apply to this red section. Finally, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Troll Slayer Orange, which is a layer more than I'd usually do, but I've started adding this one to the red, just because it makes those details stand out that little bit more than just using the Wild Rider Red. And it just brightens up some of those areas too, by adding that as a little bit of an edge highlight. Now we're going to continue working on the helmet using Citadel Iron Man Blue to do the lenses because they have these nice, cool, kind of turquoise coloured lenses. I thought that was quite a nice contrast to the red of the helm. So just use a nice thin brush to go on there and get those lenses. That lovely colour. Then we are going to use a little bit of Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade to shade those lenses. I'm trying a different method here of just going around the edges just to see if that works okay. It's yeah, a bit of a pain maybe to put a little bit of shade on there and try and get it around the edges rather than just doing the whole lens but I thought I'd give it a try. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white to the Araman blue. And now we're going to start doing the crescents. Now you can see here that I've done one part of the crescent at the back there and haven't actually recorded it, which is quite annoying. So that's a little bit of Araman blue and white mix, and just a little crescent at the back of the lens there. We're now going to add a little bit more white to the mix. Just do a little bit of a smaller highlight on that crescent. Slightly off camera there. And finally, we're going to use some pure white just to do a tiny thin highlight at the back of each lens and also to do a spot in the darker section at the front of each lens. Like so. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Balor Brown to start doing some scuffing on the pouches and the belt. So you can see here I'm doing left to right or horizontal brush strokes on the vertical sections and vertical 
brush strokes on the horizontal sections. This just to give that rough uneven edge that you'd have when you were scraping some leather against whatever it may be, like a wall or different parts of the armour. So work around each piece of the belt and pouches like this, just to give them that nice scuffed look. We're now going to add some Citadel Rakarth flesh to the Balor Brown and do some highlights on these. The highlights don't go all the way around, you don't want to cover in every section of the scuffs. Just enough so they have some lighter patches and some darker patches where some of the scuffs are a little deeper than the other ones. We are going to do a final layer, mixing a little bit more Rakarth flesh with the previous mix and just lightening up a few more of those little areas on the scuffs. Next we're going to use some Citadel Iron Hand Steel. This is just to do the metal studs on that right pauldron. Very quick layer this one. An even quicker layer now, we're just going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. And this is going to be to do the buttons on each of the pouches and that holster. Now going to use some Vallejo German Grey, and this is going to be to highlight all the black areas. So you have the casing and the sight on the bolt gun. You also have all of those little sections between all the battle plate, where you have those seals. So you want to highlight each of those sections. Think about where the light's catching them and highlight those areas. We can move on to the next colour. We're now going to use some Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. This is just to do edge highlights, mainly on the bolt rifle. So you can get these on each of the sections and the little details there, just to make all those little details stand out. Really does set off the bolt rifle quite nicely. So think about which edges will be catching the light. And you want to be highlighting those edges to make those stand out. Now it's a little bit of Citadel Retributor armour. I'm going to reapply some colour to the skulls. You have this skull on the arm and the one on the helm too. Like so. Then we are going to use a little bit of Citadel Liberator Gold to add a little bit of highlight to each of those skulls. Finally, we're going to mix a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold and just do tiny little highlights on those schools. Finally, we're going to be using some Vallejo White to paint the Nova Marines chapter badge on the shoulder here. I'll be doing a full tutorial on this this coming Sunday which is lucky because it's completely off camera there. Basically I'm just drawing a big circle which goes around the outside of the skull in the middle and then you'll be doing spikes around the edges of that. But as I say, you will be getting a tutorial of that this coming Sunday. This is the finished Nova Marine. I'm really happy with how he turned out. It's a great looking chapter, a great chapter according to the law. There's one more down for the Bad Ab Wars. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. 
Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, and you like the content, and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.